All right, so decided to do a little update on my car. Haven't really done a video in a while. So some stuff's happened since my last video and I didn't even really walk through. I think the last thing I did was well, my headlights. And that was a while ago and I've changed that up. So I decided that I didn't really want to do the spec D headlights just because I don't know, I didn't really like just having something I bought that anyone could have. So decided to do a retrofit instead. So those spec D headlights are for sale. I already have the hole drilled in the back for the HID to go through. So if anyone's interested, you can message me. Those are for sale. So let's go over these. So this is the stock um, Honda headlight. So what I did was on the retrofit source, I don't know if you can see because of the glare. Eh. Let me go over here. Ah, oh, that's just as bad. All right, whatever. All right, so this is a Mini H1 um, projector from the retrofit source. It's an oval shape, so it disperses the light better to give you an overall greater visibility. Um, takes a Mini H1 HID kit. So that's what's in there. I also have uh, 80 millimeter halo rings inside the shroud. I believe the shroud is a. Uh, it's called a. Uh, Ooh, what's it called like gunmetal or something or gun uh, gunmetal shroud or no mini graphite it's called it's the mini graphite shroud and um it's see-through so you can see all the inside of the projector when your hid is on it comes out it's really cool and then you can mount the um halo ring inside so that's how i did it. that's what that white is so it kind of looks cool because it's smoked hey let me turn it on i have the remote so the remote they're RGB halos, so they come with a bunch of different settings. So, yeah, there you go. You got red, green, blue, white, which is has it's more blue than anything. So, and then you just have your colors as you go down the list. It's pretty cool. There's flash setting, and then this. It normally does the um, brightness, but when it's in these presets, these four, so you have flash, strobe, fade, and um, smooth, this actually speeds it up or slows it down. So it's pretty cool. So there, there's the flash, here's the strobe, it only does this color. Yeah, see it only does uh, this white, which is actually like a blue. So you can speed that up, slow it down, fade, just goes kind of in between the colors and smooth slowly transitions between all the colors is pretty cool so I normally keep it on this white setting when I drive because I use them as like a DRL also with the high beams um, and so I usually use this color this it's white but it's blue the cops haven't bothered me yet because red and blue you can't use because emergency light vehicle or emergency colors on like ambulances and police cars and bloody yeah. So, um, yeah, green, I mean, I just use the stay with the white to stay out of trouble. The rest are kind of for, like, show. Um, so, yeah, the red is pretty cool looking. So, that's that. The 80 millimeter go inside these shrouds. So, um, they're really good light output, way better than the Spec Ds because they have a better projector, better lens inside. It's really good. So, how I did the paint was when I baked it open in the oven, I used... In the blinker, I use a gray. It's a metallic gray. I can give you the specific paint. Um, this is a just, I don't remember if it was satin. I think it's a satin black. Krylon, the plastic one or whatever for that. And then over here, what I did was I really wanted a yellow for the um, high beam. Because JDM, I think it looks cool. Matches the fog light. Um, I wanted to use a stained glass paint so it still has the reflective in there. Except the only one I could really find was Krylon, which they discontinued them. So there's cans on eBay for like hundreds of dollars when it's like a $10 can. And then there's this other stuff on eBay, I forget what it's called, some foreign brand. But it does the same thing. It's like $30 for like a little can this big. So I just went cheap and got some. It's the same brand as the uh, corner, the metallic one. Um, I can sh get the exact cans but it's uh, the yellow or gold or whatever, but it looks pretty yellow, it looks pretty cool. So that's how I did that, painted it, and I did an adhesion, pro uh, adhesion promoter under all of it so the paint doesn't bubble or anything. So I've had these on for 
couple months and haven't had any problems with them. Uh, in the corner I have some seven, I think they're seven four 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 switchback bulbs and it's a uh, 30 white and uh, 30 or amber LEDs. So when you have your parking lights on, it'll be just white so it matches the HID kit and then when you actually turn your hazards or your blinkers on then it switches to the orange so it's really cool I get a lot of compliments on those I think they're pretty sweet um, I'll do a better video of just the headlights later I'm just kinda doing it overall so that's the headlights and then I have a same the 35 watt Xenon, H or, uh, Xenon Depot HID kit the 6500K in there no problems with those except one bulb did burn out but they sent me a new one so no big deal so that's it for the headlights um, let's see here what other mods so have my fog lights yellow tin overlay on those I really like it um, also on the chrome I really hate chrome so what I did was bought seat some it's called 3m 1080 scotch print and vinyl this is the carbon fiber one um, it isn't a gloss, it's more of a matte, and it's not smooth. See if you can hear that? It's kind of rough. So I actually really like it. Some people who don't like it and they want a really gloss one don't get this, but it's really easy to use for new newbies like me. Uh, I think it looks good. It was 20 bucks for a roll of like 5 foot by 2 feet or something like that. So it's really cool. Um, so I did this whole grill up here. Which I think looks pretty cool. And then I also did down here the fogs, the bezels, which I really like. And then, so yeah, that's that. So what I did was I actually took the bumper apart. when I was doing this all when I was doing my headlights, so I had the whole front end apart pretty much. And I actually just took off the chrome pieces from the grill and the bezel down here, so it made it a lot easier to wrap. Bought a cheap uh, heat gun from Harbor Freight. Super easy. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend trying that if you want to change the look of your car. I also bought some Type R emblems from Graphics Expression. I think it was 87 for the set. They said they're authentic, but after reading a bunch of reviews and stuff, some people say they are not. So, but they're one of the highest end replicas. So I thought they were legit when I bought them, and ended up they're not be, but they still look really legit. They have a good mirror finish. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to pay the 129 for them on Pro Civic or whatever, you can get these ones. So that's that. I think that's pretty much it with the front end. So then, other mods. Let's see. I plasti dipped the wheels. I really, really hate the 14 SI wheels. I don't know, just not a fan. So I plasti dipped them. Me and my friend plasti dipped them. He did his car and I did mine. So they turned out pretty good. Um, what's cool is though, like these rims are all black down in here, so you don't really even have to spray in there because the plastic dip will just pull through or spray through, and it's not silver, so it doesn't shine through, so you don't have to worry about it. So it looks good. There's some places I need to touch up. See, like this is peeling up, so it's been on here for like around like five or six months. So yeah, there's also this new dip coming out. It's called like Auto Dip. And it has a gloss finish. It's like 30 bucks a can, and a can does two wheels. But it looks really cool. It can last up to two years, they say, and it peels off really easy. So I might look into that. I'm not too sure. Um, I also got the windows tinted. Um, five in the backs. It's five all the way back, back here. And then I got 15 in the front. Yes, I know. I know. It's totally legal, though, because I'm not in California, so... I'm in Nevada, can do what I want. Just kidding. Okay, and then let's go inside. Actually, we'll wrap around here. So then, I also vinyled this back chrome strip right here. Just turned out good. I think it changes the overall appearance really nicely. Um, the rear emblem, which actually has a little blemish right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to pick up. It's like a little red dot. Huh, whatever. 
So that's that. I did have overlays, but they're like teal, and everyone said I look like a girl, so I took them off. And then I need to get some new ones. So that's that. I also got the splash guards. Um, they were on the car at the dealership when I first got it, but they had this protection package, which was the splash guards, a trunk liner, and the locking lug nuts, and they wanted like $600 for it. So please, this is just with all new cars. Do not buy their upgraded packages at the dealerships. They're ridiculous. I got these for like 60 bucks. I can get the trunk tray for I think a, under 100, like 70 or 80 bucks, maybe 90. And then I can get the locking lug nuts for cheaper. So I think I could get the whole package for like probably 300 bucks instead of spending 600 at the dealership. So don't waste your money at the dealerships. Yep, so my car is filthy. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Um, so let's see here. What else? I guess I can go in here. So I also, I went vinyl crazy. I kind of did everything. So I also did the door, the aluminum trim right here. I think it looks nice. Add something new to the car. I also did the steering wheel. I did the other door as well. Shift boot, retainer, handbrake, and I also even I did the cup holders. Yes, I know. But I was doing it all, so I might as well go all out. I have a Blocks Racing 490 uh, spherical neochrome shift knob. It's 490 grams, so it's almost a pound. It's weighted, um, obviously. It's really nice. I like it. I didn't put the clutch in for all you people that are going to nitpick. Here, there we go. Okay. So let's see here what else. Oh, yes, I put in gay blue ricer lights. I need to take those out. Um, and then also up here I have a Valentine 1 um, radar detector. Um, the kit I have, I got the uh, Grand Turing package, which what that comes with is, comes with the Valentine 1, the wire which I have running up here. And then I ran it down, around, and then I have it mounted, I don't know if you can see down here somewhere, I have it mounted, I can't really tell. Let me get my flashlight out so you guys can see it better. Oh, it's right there. Right there, and it has a speed control right here, and it lets you hardwire it into the OCD port. So you don't have to run the um, stupid 12 volt charger, which I don't want it running down here. So I want it to be hardwired and I don't have an auto dimming mirror because you can also tap it in those with some cars, but it's a Civic, so obviously it's cheap, didn't come with it. So have it down there and then that thing that's plugged in down there, it has a speed control. So you can set it to a speed, and then anything that speed or under, it'll go to the muted volume, which is this little knob. This little knob right here, you can't really see. There we go. Goes to this little knob. Come on. Freaking. This little knob right here. And then this is the louder volume. Um, actually, here, let me turn on. And it goes on whenever the car is on. Got some T Swift going. Come on. Huh, thought it would go on. Maybe I have to actually turn the car on. There it goes. So I'll do a more in depth view of that. So I have it on the advanced setting so it deletes like stuff that I don't want to see. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it, all I've done. But yeah, the tinted windows are nice. Keeps it nice and cool. It doesn't look very dark right now, but keeps it cool. Oh, and I also have a 5% uh, windshield banner up top, which is nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, I forgot the like the most important mod. I don't know why, but it's like I have got exhaust. 
Uh, I got the Skunk 2 Mega Power RR exhaust. It's three inches. It's loud as shit. Um, when I first got it, it was like ridiculously loud, like headache loud, like couldn't hear myself think. And I'm not sure if I've just gotten used to it or it's made me go deaf, but it's quieted down quite a bit, so I broke it in. It's still pretty loud. It doesn't set off quite as many car alarms as it used to. But yeah, so that's cool. So I'll go into more depth about that later.